With this blur module, we've got some nice images in a grid format and some nice animation when you hover over the image, a uh, short title, a short description, and then a white little stripe that comes down to keep it nice and engaging. Most important here is that you keep a very short title and a short description. This is designed to be a numbered list. So you've got um, service one, service two, service three, and then if you extend them on seven, eight, nine, it will automatically count up the numbers as we continue. So it's really intended to be a click through to go to another page. So for that reason, you want to keep a short title and a short description, just enough to get someone to click through. How do we change some of these elements? First of all, the image, you want to make sure you upload the same image sizes for all of them so they don't distort. Uh, you've got 635 pixels by 422. Let's open that up. Here we can change the title, make it a little bit longer. There we go. And of course we can make this longer as well. And then to the end there, but we want to keep it as short as possible for the best result. There's the image and that's a wrap for this. That's content. So design, we might want to change it to black, for example, let's do a quick preview. Yeah, this, uh, as you can see, it's quite small over here. This text will fit on a larger view, so don't worry about this. Uh, we want to change this color to black. Let's go ahead and do that. Text color, change that. There we go. Body color, body font. Let's click on that. And then that's it for this one. Quickly through the advanced settings. See what we've got there. Nothing much here. So, Let's update and then we can do a quick preview. There we go. So you can see everything's nice and black in this case, except for this white line. And we need to go for the custom CSS on this one. So we want to look for this particular um, blurb module. So this is info animation reveal blurb. You can see it's white there. So we go zero, zero, zero. That's the X color for the black. Let's just copy that. And then you're simply going to paste this into the custom CSS box for the page. Let's click save, click update, and then we can reload. There we go. Black updated just the way that you needed to. Thanks for watching.